Howdy all, Omega Lex Lives. I think it's time we play a little Minecraft. Aw, oh, man. I, uh... I really wanted to get some time on here, but, whoops, before I record it again. It didn't happen. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> uh... Basically, I, um... I got up today. Today's, uh, kind of my day off, so I usually... Usually try to get some some playtime in on here on uh, on Fridays, which is today. And uh, yeah, I am just straight up. What am I out of? Am I out of sand or am I out of? Um, no, I've got sand. I need. I need. Um, gravel. Let's see if we can find some place where there's some gravel I can steal. Uh, right here is a spot. I decided I'm just going to replace these, uh, little gravel patches by the... by the, uh, river. With dirt. I've already dug a couple of these out, so... Uh, but yeah, I, uh, so I got up today, and I was like, okay, okay. So, I got a lot of work to do on my two games, and I have any extra hours I gotta put in this week. Um, and, uh, so that's excellent, and I don't have any extra anything I can currently be doing. There's some stuff I need to do. But I can't currently work on it uh, due to my poor back, uh, which is almost, almost healed. I know it's like six to eight weeks, <laughs> six to eight weeks of recuperation, I've been told. And um, I'm on about week four right now. It doesn't so much hurt as just feel like I twinged my back. It's not really my back, it's more my side. Um, but uh, it's still still pull the muscle in, in my lower back area. And um, which has gotten me out of a lot of, uh, you know, manual labor around the house, which is nice. Uh, which just means none of it's getting done still. Um, which is a whole other story. But anyways... So I got up today, and I'm like, you know, my back's not feeling too bad. Uh, and um, they uh, they swam in the pool uh, and the 4th. And uh, it's been pretty cloudy, cold, and rainy. But we've had a couple of warm days. And I put the solar cover back on the pool. Uh, and I'm like, all right, so maybe, maybe I'll be able to go swimming this week. And uh, so... They uh, <clears throat> they looked at the pool yesterday and said that it was very green. And I'm like, oh man, we just just got that cleaned out. Well, technically, technically we haven't cleaned it out, and that is irritating to me. Um, someone told my I think I already told this, but someone told my brother-in-law that you can't drain a pool once it's filled. And so he refuses to allow the pool to drain so that we can clean it. Even though we have a fixed side pool, uh, which as long as you're not pressing on the sides, you can drain long enough to scrub it down and clean it up some to make sure this algae stuff doesn't keep growing back. But no, he refuses to listen. And so every time we start draining the pool... Uh, which takes hours, and then I walk away, he stops draining the pool, and fills it back up with water, and so I've just given up on it at this point. And, uh, it drained far enough. Did it drain to the bottom? Did you scrub it out with soap and water? 
No, then it didn't drain far enough, did it? Uh, I need torches. Not redstone torches. I need regular torches. Do I just not have any torches on me? No torches available? I have so many redstone torches and no regular torches. Uh, do I have sticks on me? I don't, but here's some sticks. And here's some coal. So, that'll work. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so... It's a little irritating uh, that he lets the pool get scummy. Because he wants to take care of the pool, but he doesn't, you know... Keep it clean, which is irritating. But, uh... So... Uh, I didn't go Thursday, which was my plan for my afternoon on Thursday. In between... Uh, getting all my work done for the day and, um, and my video stuff. And then I had like an hour between when I finished all that and dinner. And I thought, Ooh, I'll, I'll go swimming. Oh, the pool's really green. I'm like, Oh, green or green and slimy. I, I can handle green. I can't handle green and slimy. He's like, Oh no, it's, it's really slimy. And I'm like, oh, again, <laughs> And, um, so, uh, bloop, bloop. so anyway, uh, today I went out and I looked at the pool and it was, uh, it, the water's not clear anymore cause it's got so much dead algae in it. Um, but it was, it was clear ish. It wasn't green. And so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna swim in today, and uh, so I got in the pool, and uh, about ten minutes after I was in the pool, all the water turned green, because yeah, it's gross, and uh, so uh, so anyways, I went swimming for a while today, a long time, like I am sunburnt from the amount of swimming I've done. I don't go outside, so I. Guess I didn't think this thought through, and I stayed in the pool for like three hours. Uh, first thing when I got up today, I just went straight to the pool, and because um, I had the day off and I just wanted to relax, and so uh, yeah. So then I got out of the pool and uh, I come walking in the house. It's probably like a th four. Four in the afternoon by the time I got out of the pool because I didn't go to bed till one. I didn't go to bed until almost five thirty this morning uh, from working on stuff and uh, and uh, so uh, I uh, I come in and I'm like, man, I wonder what time my sister's getting home because. I would love to go see the new Spider-Man movie, and it is playing at our local theater. And uh, and I thought she was supposed to be done with work at 3:15, uh, and so I was hoping she'd be home in time for us to go hit the four o'clock show, because uh, the theater is like eight minutes from our house. And uh, and she uh, she's not home. And so I'm like, what time is uh, what time is the sister go home? And they're like, oh well, she's uh, she's actually driving to another town that uh, is like an hour from where she's at. I'm like, oh oh, what is she doing? I was kind of hoping we'd be able to maybe go see that movie today. And uh, they're like, well, you wouldn't be able to go today anyways because we have that birthday party tonight. And I'm like, birthday party? Like, yeah yeah, we told you about the birthday party. And I'm like, no, nobody told me about a birthday party. Yeah, yeah, we told everybody a uh, birthday party here tonight for my mom. Uh, and I'm like, uh, no, um, I wasn't even aware it was her birthday. Oh, well, her birthday's next week. I'm like, yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't realize we were having her party tonight. Well, no, everybody else is going camping and stuff next week, so we're having it this week. Mm, so, yeah. So now it's, uh, 
almost 10 p.m. and the rest of the family just left. Uh, and so, yeah, I did not have time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! I did not have time to, uh, to work on anything today. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and go get some dirt. I feel like my voice is a little hoarse, too, from, uh, all the chatting with people. Probably the swimming as well didn't help. A lot of chlorine in the water. Um, but yeah, so my, uh, my shoulders are a little, uh, painful to the touch at the moment. My, my forehead is burnt. I've never done that before. That's kind of weird. Uh, it doesn't hurt too much, I guess, but it probably will tomorrow. Dirt. Dirt. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's, that was my, my day. I, the pool and then the party. And that's, uh, all I've managed to accomplish today. Um, although the pool and the party took up about, let's see, one, eight and a half hours. <laughs> eight and a half hours today for a party and the pool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so last night, last night was our bi-weekly D&D session, which I usually like to talk about in here, and, uh, I, uh, it wasn't too terrible, uh, there were some moments I was regretting being there, um, the, the one guy who plays with us, uh, when he first... When he first joined us, uh, talked for about, uh, talked for about, uh, 30 minutes straight without taking a breath. And, uh, I was like, oh no, it's going to be one of those nights. Um, he calmed down once we got going, but man, he talked so much. And it wasn't just that he was talking, it was that he was like, because I know the guy in real life, and then the people I play with are online people uh, that I game with, and uh, so he's just going on and on about all these stories about me. Which is just weird, and I'm not sure why he's going on about these stories, and he's, like, telling them about my dead dog from, like, seven years ago, and and just all these stories that you're like, dude, that those, uh, I wouldn't have told these guys these stories ever. Why are you even opening your mouth about these uh, kind of thing? That's why I don't like to tell people anything because, and then, you know, I do tell people things, but I'm very careful about what I tell people because there's things that I just don't want spread about. And, uh, and then he's just, I don't know. It was like, I'm not sure if he was a little drunk maybe, um, or what, but dude, when he joined, he did not stop talking. Uh, in fact, it was so bad at one point that he, he got in there and he started talking and talking and talking and I just left the channel and I'm like, I'll be back when it gets closer to time. We're going to start. And, uh, and so when I did rejoin, he was going on about my dead dog. Uh, cause one of the other people was like, Oh, I love his dog. I want to buy his dog off of him. And he's like, which dog, the, you know, the, the current dog or the dog that died, like, five... Why would they want to buy the old dead dog? What well, that doesn't... Shut your mouth already. Uh... And, uh... And then he starts going on about how important he is to our group and... And, uh... How all our lives are better because we know him. And, um... You know, he's one of those guys. And uh, I'm just like, oh, 
Shut up already. Shut up already. Come on, please. I've had enough. You've you've reached my limit. Uh and uh but uh yeah, finally once we got started he uh he quieted down quite a bit. Um surprisingly the uh DM was uh not uh not in it for the uh silly chit chat for sure. Uh, because the last time we played, which was a month ago, uh, they talked about, or they talked to an NPC who owned the inn we were staying at for, like, 30 or 40 minutes about her dead husband who has no relation to the story. And, um, oops, 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 oops. This is not ready to go. Sorry, sorry, I gotta go... Turn this into actual concrete. I forgot. I forgot the middle step. Uh, and uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, so he was all like, "All right, so you guys are already out of the end and on your way." And um, and we fought some bandits. It was a pretty tough fight. Uh, they they kind of drove me a little crazy during the fight, uh, especially uh, we. Uh, so we're going along, and um, I wouldn't say I'm overconfident in the abilities of my character, uh, but I am aware that my character is pretty powerful at this point. And, uh, and so... And my character gets knocked out, like, nearly killed a lot, because I am the front line for the group. And so... If something is hitting the group, it's usually hitting me. And so uh me and me and uh one of the other guys um are uh usually working together. And then the other two the other two are just doing their thing. And uh unfortunately their thing is usually not as helpful as they think it is. And uh uh, and so, uh, we got some, we got some doozy comments last night from the wizard who refuses to cast attack spells about how we needed to be damaging people more, whereas he only casts like a single attack spell the entire night. Uh, and so he's basically gimped us, right? Um, cause he just casts stuff that he thinks is interesting uh, or he'll spend seven or eight minutes trying to decide how to use a spell, and then after deciding he doesn't like how it's going to work out for him, not using the spell. And um, and he was more worried about uh, making sure he didn't take any damage than doing damage to other people. Uh, which is fine if we're in a small fight, but this was not a small fight. And uh, uh, let's put it this way. My guy has the most hit points in our group. And the number of hit points I have is like 53. And just one just one of the five guys we fought, I did over 100 damage to by myself. And uh and I wasn't the only one that did damage to him. And so we really needed some damage coming into these people. And it wasn't happening. It just was not happening. I was damaging. Uh, the other guy was uh, uh, our healer, basically, who also does some damage stuff. Sometimes I make that. Whew. That big wall of concrete. Hopefully this works. Sometimes it has some issues with, uh, yep, issues right there. Okay, did you get fixed? I th All right, it's fixed now. I don't know what it is. That first time of uh, operating, it doesn't seem to... Uh, kick out the the concrete correctly but uh yeah so we uh 
we uh we get in there and we start fighting these guys and um the one guy's like maybe we should try talking to them instead of killing them cuz i feel like we just go in and we kill everything and they're like okay um well i'm up for that what was uh what was the mission um are we supposed to the one guy says are we supposed to just run them off or what and the other guy's like, no, I, I have it written down that we have to bring back their heads. And uh, so the guy who wanted to talk to them was like, well, I guess talking's out. And uh, so anyways, we get in there, and one of the characters is a wizard, and one of the characters that we're fighting is a bard, and which means they're both spellcasters. And so the wizard cast a spell that made it so that I do half my normal amount of damage. And the bard cast a spell that made it so I couldn't move. And so one of the ways that you can uh, break a spell is by doing damage to the person who cast the spell. And so one would think that uh, if one of your fellow compatriots was trapped, you might try to do damage to the character who caused it, right? That would make sense. So what do we do? Uh, first off, our ranger... Uh, is like, all right, I'm going to attack the bard. And I'm like, yes, because the bard made it so I can't move. And he's like, no, you know what? I want to attack the bard. I want to shoot his musical instrument. And I'm like, what? Because that's not going to break this spell. And he's like, I, I hate his music, so I'm going to shoot his musical instrument. And the DM's like, okay, you, you can take a targeted shot, but you have to roll at disadvantage. And so he does nine damage. Nine damage to the loot. <laughs> Which has zero impact on the spell that's on me. So I'm still paralyzed. And, uh, in fact, I got out of the wizard spell because I succeeded in a check against it. Uh, you roll the dice to see if you can break it on your own. I did. I failed the bard one, but I succeeded on the wizard one. And um, And then after that... Basically, our wizard and their wizard played a game of tag uh, where their wizard tried to cast uh, damage spells, but their wi our wizard blocked them against himself. And uh, oh, one thing drove me crazy was uh, when the bard goes to cast Hold Person on me, our wizard has an ability called Counterspell, and which stops the spell from working. And so he he wants to know if he knows what spell's being cast, and so the DM has him roll dice to see if he he recognizes it, and he recognizes it. And the DM tells him it's hold person. He's like, I don't want to use counter spell on that. So all he did was sat there and I basically feel like he wants to be involved in every turn that happens, even if it's not his own. And so every time something happens on someone else's turn, he has to open his mouth and be part of it. And so we have to sit there and wait for him to basically take a turn to see if he knows about the spell. And then he decides not to counterspell the spell that locks me in place. And by the time I was finally broken free from hold person, uh, I went from 53 hit points to 17. And uh, people were hitting me for 20-some damage uh, after that. I basically spent the rest of the game half dead almost the entire time. Uh, and and so I'm sitting there and I'm wailing away on this uh, this guy uh, for almost the entire night. We played for like three three hours, three and a half hours, and uh, it was a long fight. And um, and so I'm just wailing away on this guy, and I finally get to the point where I have one hit point left. He's got like ten hit points left, and uh, and that's the moment that the wizard decides to run up and cast an attack spell. Because this is what he does. He waits until you do all the damage. Uh, well, no, he does two things. Either he opens with a massive attack spell, or he waits until the creature you're fighting is almost dead and then runs in to take the final kill. Which doesn't matter in D&D, &D, and no one cares. Uh, that's a that's a online game thing where you get the final kill, and it marks as your final kill, and you get the loot from it, which is basically, in his head, all that's important, is that he gets all the loot. And, um... So, uh... 
Yeah, he, uh... He didn't do enough damage to the barbarian guy, though, that I was fighting. And the guy who'd been healing me through all of this the entire night got the kill on the barbarian. Uh, I think I killed the bard and maybe one of the guards. And then the, uh... Uh, one of the other guards, I think, went down to the ranger. And uh, the ranger also did the most damage to the wizard. And then our wizard um, ran in and got the final kill on that wizard, I think. Um, but, uh, yeah... But yeah, it was it was a long night, which is why I didn't get to bed till like five five thirty, and uh, which means I got almost eight hours of sleep, which is unusual for me. It was nice, and then I got up and just went swimming. Man, how much more of this stuff is? Okay, we're almost there. Oh yeah, we're we've got one more row here, I think. Should be it. Whoa. All right, that's good enough for me. Uh, actually, no, that's not good enough for me. I, I need you to flick the other way. Because I need I need these out to put the concrete dust on. I love that machine. It makes my life so much better. I don't think you can just throw concrete in as loose blocks. I think you have to actually place it down for it to change. So now I kind of want to check that out. I don't have any on me though. Okay, uh, so, let me see what this end looks like. Right, and then it just ends with one. See, this threw off my, this threw off my whole setup earlier because when I got everything finished, uh, trying to make it even, Nothing was even, and it was just weird. This, of course, has got to switch over to... Oh, don't I was going to say, don't I have any more stone slabs on me? Okay. Yay! All right. Now, this side, I believe, is off by one. Ugh. Pretty sure I'm off by one because yeah, because this is one back, which means this whole this whole arch here is in the wrong spot. It's in the wrong spot. Cause it's supposed to be like that. I wonder if that means, like, yeah, you can, s well, no, because this is in the right spot, right? That matches. This matches. So how does the rest of this not match?
How is that possible? How is it possible for this part here not to match, but all the rest of it to uh, match? Hmm. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what it is? It's the ground. The ground is different on this side. That's what it is. This is the part that's not correct. There we go. That fixes that. Whew, that was close. I thought I was going to have to redo this whole thing. Uh, I do have to redo this whole thing, though. Whoa. Oh, you know what? I'm I need to be doing underneath the stairs too. I didn't do underneath the stairs. Whoops. It's all right though. But yeah, so that was uh that was my my last night. We're actually uh we're actually switching out the uh the D and D stuff on Thursday nights uh to Monday nights coming up. Um. And uh. Uh. So I think uh we might have one more possible Thursday night session. Although I think we should just switch to Monday night if we're going to do it on Monday nights, but Monday nights actually works out a little better for me, I feel. Uh, just because I think I'd rather um, I think I'd rather have my Thursday nights free since I usually have Monday nights off. Or wait, wait, let me try that again. I think I'd like to have my Thursday nights free because I have my Fridays off. There we go. And so then that way I'm not staying up till three, four, five o'clock in the morning on Thursdays and then having to sleep in till, you know, noon, two o'clock, whatever, uh, to get my sleep in. Should work out better. I really wanted to be done with this bridge today. I'm so sad that I'm not done with this bridge. Dang you, surprise party. It was only a surprise to me. Everybody else knew about it. Everybody was like, oh, yeah, didn't we tell you? Yeah, we're we're getting Chinese food. I'm like, okay, well, that's a plus. And uh, uh, it starts at, it starts at uh, 4 or 5. And... Um, and... Uh, I'm like, no, no one, no one mentioned this to me at all. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure someone told you. Yeah, you, just now, when I came in from swimming and you said, uh, you said I wouldn't be able to go to the movies because we have a party tonight. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up. Um, uh, they bought a, they bought a whiteboard to leave messages on that they hang in the hallway and it has written or it had written on it party uh at 5 p.m that they put on there this morning while i was asleep uh that was there we told everybody so yeah no you didn't in fact since you didn't tell me i didn't order a present yet so now i'm gonna go to my own mother's birthday with no gift, because I expect it to be next week when her birthday is. Thanks, people. Although you know, I didn't see, I didn't see but one gift today. So I, uh, oh, you know what? I think my sister bought her some books on her Kindle, and I didn't see. I wonder if my brother decided that the dessert he brought counted as his gift. Pudding cups. Uh, homemade pudding cups, not like store-bought pudding cups. It's probably store-bought pudding put into cups, but, you know, 
<laughs> it was good. I like pudding. So, anyways, click like, like, subscribe, share, and catch the next one. And I will talk to you later.